hey, 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 it don't happen, my people. Hey, hey. Secrets are getting exposed, though. Secrets are getting exposed, my people. You will not believe this. Tribunal judges allegedly pocketed $5 million each. Justice Samani, $7 million. Hey, who gave them this money? How they got to be in possession of this money it will shock you. I will go, we'll still get to find out all that in a bit in the rest of this video. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by, by, by subscribing, by liking this video. Leave your opinions in the comment section. This, that is where we discuss and share opinions and ideas. Without further delay, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Tribunal judges allegedly pocketed $5 million each. Justice Samani, $7 million. Rumor has it that the judges of the Tribunal Election Petition Tribunal who dished out the judgment affirming APC candidate Bola Tinobu as Nigerian's president were paid $5 million each with Justice Aaron Osamani who led the tribunal getting $7 million. According to Jackson Ude, a strategic communication expert, this claim was issued by a very angry appeal court judge on the early morning of Thursday, September 7. The judge, who pledged anonymity, said plans have already been concluded to give each member of the Supreme Court, who will sit on the case, $7 million and $10 million to the Chief Judge of Nigeria, CJN, Olukayo Diari Wolan. He further reviewed that Wale Olani Pekun, Yelsom Wike, Festus Keyamo, Babatunde Fashola, Latif Fagbemi, and few others coordinated the scheme and the bribe money. This agreement will kickstart a groundwork to prepare for the judgment where retired Justice Mary Odili delivered the speech that signaled how the tribunal judges would rule. The exacerbated legal practitioner also claimed that the judgment was handwritten and handed over to the judges and that Justice Samani struggled to read it because he was having challenges seeing the writings. He said he is not the only angry one amongst the judges. He said two other appeal court judges are livid with their colleagues especially the way and manner Justice Mosura Bolaji Yusuf was insulting the pe petitioners. Other judges on the infamous panel were Justice Stephen Ada, Abba Mohammed, Moses Ugo. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Ha, brown blue, we don't see far with We don't see far with This is a fellow judge who is exposing his colleagues. According to news source, this news was, you know, released on the morning after the judgment day. That is today. This morning, this was released today. Although the judge, the judge who revealed this story, we do not know, you know, he pleaded to be anonymous due to security, because of security concerns. But, wow, who, if this is actually true, that judgment was very lengthy. Like I said, it was just going on and on. They were reading. They were reading from paper. Of course, normally, you know, for even being on the panel at all, tribunal judges are well paid. They are paid a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. But for them to have gotten seven million dollars, not even naira, seven million dollars for the for the leader of a, of a panel. Uh, who is uh, Samani, Justice Samani, and then the others got $5 million each. Ha. That says a lot too. 
they will pay them that much and they will not rule in favor of the person that is paying that money <laughs> i don't think so you all at this point i want to hear from you please hurry to the comment section and drop your opinions there let's discuss let's rub our minds together before we go guys let's take a look at a few reactions we got from people online amuda fatai says rumor is carried by enemy spread by ignorance and accepted by fools hmm. we'll see time will tell up for calling says vanity will vanity will catch up with them the selected president will get his money back from them because nigerians will fight for themselves i don't have president in my country only living with selected government nigeria will rise again even though it has been contaminated with criminals in uniform but last last you will prepare to return that money tenobo in one thing he must have signed agreement with you criminals one person one fire hmm. i can saw your lake says some of you will end up in jail especially you this udi or what's your name the same stupid and unfounded rumor you carried about Fatula writing judgment case is still there for you. Whatever anyone does or say against your OB is wrong to you. Olusha Gwawonusi says, Not until useless bloggers like you are prosecuted and forced to name the purported judge, you won't stop to peddle such rumors. Your brother who said Fashola prepared the judgment is now in custody. This author will soon join him. Now let's take a look at the last comments. V Vitalis Uzoma says, It will never be well with people that has hand in false judgment in tribunal. You all leave your opinions in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. For all the support you have been giving this channel, I appreciate you. And I pray that the good Lord bless you all in return. Share this video with your friends and family. Leave your opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to also like this video. I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.